Hey everyone, it's me Ryan here or MNR Productions and today we're going to be taking a look at the LEGO Star Wars May the 4th promotional items and counting them down from worst to first. If you enjoyed the video, of course, leave a like and if you have any opinions on my list and maybe you would change it in any way, make sure you let me know in the comments section below. For those of you who don't know, the May the 4th promotion is a Star Wars centric promotion done by LEGO where they release a free minifigure or mini build with a purchase of X amount of dollars or more that varies by country and by year. They They've been doing this since 2011, it started with the Shadow Arf Trooper and we've seen quite a few different things. We are on the 8th year of the May the 4th promotion now, so we've had 8 different promotional items. The first 6 years we saw all minifigures and the most recent 2 years we've seen a couple of droid builds that have been rather interesting. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the worst LEGO Star Wars May the 4th Be With You promotional item. This one is going to be far and away the First Order Stormtrooper. This is just an absolutely terrible promo item. But this particular minifigure only required a $50 purchase back in 2016. I think this is because they knew it sucked and this wasn't a very desirable minifigure. So they lowered the price of what people had to spend to get it, which is pretty hilarious to me. It's such a bad figure because there's so many other things they could have done than just another Stormtrooper. We've seen them do other exclusive like Clone Trooper minifigures and we'll get into that later in this video. But they were like cool, one-off, and unique looking troopers. Troopers. This is not that at all. It's essentially the same thing we had just gotten in a battle pack, except it has a couple of extra, like, little black bandoliers on its top left shoulder. Like, I was just blown away by how stupid this minifigure was, in my opinion. It also included a super cool backpack that you could also find on the First Order Snowtrooper, so it's not that super cool at all. So, it was basically a First Order Stormtrooper with, like, a little bit of extra printing that was not exciting at all, so I was really disappointed by this one, and this was actually the last. Last year they did a minifigure for the May the 4th promotion, at least as of filming this in 2018, so this was a really disappointing figure, and I think maybe they saw that people weren't turning out for the figures, and maybe that's why they had moved on to mini builds now. But I think people didn't turn out for the figures because this figure sucked. Next up on the list at number 7 is Admiral Yularen. And this is, I believe, the only time LEGO ever made the Star Wars Rebels Admiral Yularen. He looks pretty good. It's a pretty simple minifigure, though, which is why I think I'm not particularly drawn to him and think he's one of the worser LEGO Star Wars May the 4th promotional items. But he has a cool hairpiece. He's got a really weird-looking face to me. I like the torso print. Again, it's plain, but it is effective. There's no special leg print or anything. You don't have anything super cool on the back. It's just a pretty plain face figure and that's why I wasn't really drawn to it so that's Admiral Yularen. Next up we have the Hoth Han Solo from 2013 and this thing just was a real disappointment because they released this as like an exclusive minifigure and then he's basically come out a few times since then almost exactly the same as this so there was nothing cool or unique about this figure unfortunately like it's a cool figure don't get me wrong like it's a great promo figure it's Hoth Han Solo but the bad part about it is he just ended up coming out in regular sets essentially in the same outfit which was a little bit disappointing. That is definitely the biggest drawback to this figure for me. I think if this figure hadn't appeared in regular sets in pretty much the same outfit, I would be way more about this figure. It would be a way cooler exclusive May the 4th Be With You figure like Admiral Yularen is pretty much like an exclusive figure and some of the other figures higher up on this list that you're about to see are exclusive figures, but both the Hoth on Solo and the First Order Stormtrooper that we've seen now are both like relatively easy figures to get, which make them a lot less cool as far as I'm concerned. At number 5 on the list, I've chosen the buildable BB-8 from this year, 2018, so it has one cool thing about it, and then it has kind of a big drawback that I have figured out now, so the one cool thing about it is all the printing. It's got a lot of great printing. Actually, there's two cool things. We'll get to the other one in a second, but the printing on this thing is incredible. They have these printed tile pieces on the sides of it that just really round out the, the buildable figure. They actually made one of these that was like a free Toys R Us promo. It looks terrible. So you guys can see this is a much, much better figure or buildable uh, item, I guess, buildable droid. So it looks really good. The head can also move left and right and forward and backwards, I think. Like it's got a little bit of wobble to it, which is nice. So it's just like when he's rolling through the desert on Jakku, like the head's moving around, which is nice. Gets a little bit of bobble to it. But the one bad thing about this figure, or I keep calling it a figure because I'm so used to other figures. But the one bad thing about this particular buildable BB-8 is definitely going to be how hard it is to get him to stand up straight. If you notice on the box art or the polybag art, they've kind of got him down on the side a little bit that's because there's a stud at the bottom of the plate that's underneath him or the piece that's underneath him there's a stud on it and you can't sit straight up on that one stud so you're gonna have to either build a stand for this or let him sit to the side and I think it looks really weird with him sitting to the side so I've seen like a physical in hand appraisal picture of this sitting on his shelf and it looks really weird so I'm definitely not all about the displayability of this although the printing on it is incredible the head print is incredible but I'm just really off put by the way it's displayed. 
At number four, I've chosen the 2017 R2-D2, which is obviously going to go hand in hand with the brand new BB-8, but this R2-D2 is just incredible. Like, it's, I mean, I was disappointed that we didn't get a figure the last couple of years, but I'm also very happy because we've gotten a couple of really cool uh, buildable droids, but again, I'm still hoping they go back to figures, obviously. Anyway, the R2-D2 headpiece, obviously printed, very cool. We had seen something similar to that in the UCS Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter a few years back, but this is actually the first time we got a full droid figure with it, which was awesome. You had a couple of tile prints on the front of the the torso as well the great thing is that he did include all three legs you could detach that bottom third leg if you wanted to but the good thing about having three legs unlike the bb-8 where it's just kind of sitting on a stud is that it's very displayable you can get him to stand up straight just like he would in the movie or whatever so the r2d2 looks great it's got a great head print the head spins around very round torso or body to this guy so i do like the r2d2 just was again disappointed that it wasn't a figure last year and this year too straight out of 2012 we have the tc14 promotional figure and this thing is cool for one main reason and that's because it's in a metallic chrome it's actually like reflective shiny kind of like we have with the Darth Vader pod kind of like gold C-3PO and most like the chrome stormtrooper from 2009 the chrome TC-14 is definitely a very desirable figure straight out of episode one I believe is where we saw this guy that's something really cool they made a unique figure that really didn't fit in any Lego sets and they gave the figure a really cool like print to it they also the, not a print but they gave it a cool color and that's chrome like Lego doesn't make chrome figures that much anymore which I'm really disappointed about but this was one of the most recent ones that they have made for Star Wars Wars. I actually think this is the last chrome figure they did for Star Wars because they did the Gold Sneak 3PO's in 2007, the chrome Stormtrooper in 2009, and they have the chrome TC-14 here, but I, I really like it. The chrome is awesome. There's something about having a chrome shiny minifigure that is just so cool and collectible and made this type of thing such a desirable thing for a May the 4th promotion as opposed to some of the figures we saw earlier on the list, like a First Order Stormtrooper that we had totally seen in another set but had a slightly different print, like who cares? It's a chrome minifigure, you can't go wrong. Continuing our move down the list to the second best LEGO Star Wars May the 4th promotional item, it's Darth Revan, or Raven as I like to call him. People get upset when I call him Raven, so I'm going to call him Raven. It's Revan, I know. Anyway, he's a really awesome figure that obviously we would have never gotten in a LEGO set. Like, LEGO, I think, recognized that, so they threw him as a May the 4th promotion, and it just, it's definitely one of the best ones ever. A lot of people really like this figure. A lot of people really wish they had sets with this figure. Unfortunately, they never did, but this is a really cool figure as he is. He comes with a regular red lightsaber but we're not worried about that the print on him is incredible it's got a great print the face print is incredible he's got a little hood and a cape though uh, the leg print the waist print and the torso print all really go together there I really like when they do that with the Lego figures where it all kind of connects there through the waist piece really love that looks incredible I mean a lot of people again really like this figure myself included so that's number two on my list but there is one that's better than them all it's actually the original May the 4th promotional minifigure it's the Shadow Arf Trooper from 2011 I mean it's the Shadow Arf Trooper this this is the epitome of what I'm talking about when I say I want something cool for May the 4th. I do not want a slightly different Stormtrooper print. I do not want a Hoth Han Solo who's going to come out in five different sets. I do not want a buildable R2-D2 who you could release at Target for $4 anyway. I want a unique figure that's something completely different, something you wouldn't get in a Lego set, and this is exactly that. It's a Shadow Arf Trooper. They're never even in Star Wars, but they were still a minifigure from Lego. It's so cool because Lego just kind of made it up. They're like, oh, here's this thing we decided to release because... I don't know. Like, I just don't understand why they didn't do this more. I think it was a great concept, and I don't know what happened. Maybe because Disney bought Star Wars, they were like, oh, yeah, you can't do this anymore, which I think it would be ridiculous, but I really like it. I hope they can go back to doing something like this. The Shadow Arf Trooper is the most iconic May the 4th figure, I think. I think when I think about May the 4th, I think Shadow Arf Trooper, just thinking back. I realized that this video kind of turned into a rant at some points, and I did do a rant video on just this topic. It's Lego rant number one, the May the 4th promotional items, and you can check that out. I basically rant about how they stopped doing minifigures and how some of the minifigures sucked. Pretty similar to what I did in some of this video, but there's still a little bit different stuff in there, and I also give some ideas for future May the 4th figures and promotional items, so you should totally check that out. Link in the description and pinned comment, and it'll probably be on the end card here in a second. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite LEGO Star Wars May the 4th minifigure or set, I guess, if you like the R2-D2 or BB-8 more than any of the minifigures, but I think you're crazy in my opinion. And let me know if you would drastically change my list. Obviously, this is just my opinion, so in my opinion, this is the correct way to do the list, but maybe you think it's another way, and that's fine, so let me know. If you guys did enjoy the video, of course, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.